This is another one of those issues that gets a lot of discussion on social media, um, and I see a lot of bad advice being given as well. So I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on it. Today, I'm gonna to talk about why I always wear my life jacket, AKA PFD. A lot of newcomers uh, to the sport will say life jacket, which is fine. Uh, those of us who've been doing it for a while, we say PFD. It's the sort of more formal term that waterways operatives and the emergency services use. I um, always wear mine. I've always got mine on when I'm paddling. It's so in the habit, I don't even really think about it to be honest anymore. So one of, one of the most common things I see is people saying they want to wear them all the time, but they're uncomfortable. So they take them off after half an hour or whatever. So uh, the first thing to mention is that if your PFD isn't comfortable, then either you haven't got the right one for you, and maybe you've got the wrong size, or you know you, know you can adjust them. They've also got different straps here, hither and thither. You know, you can sometimes people have them too high or some times too low just you know, have a play around with it until you find what's comfortable now I'm one of these people who can spend hours and hours literally hours in a kayak and not take a break I do very long distance and uh, I, I never find my PFD uncomfortable I just don't you know I've got a good fit I've got it adjusted well so another reason people uh, tend to not wear them uh, is really just sort of you know confidence in their own ability and they consider they might be on a, on a waterway like a canal that doesn't seem particularly dangerous you know they're like oh you fall in you could pretty much stand up and uh, you know I get all of this and um, now f for me it's not about my ability I'm perfectly confident in my own ability as a paddler and a swimmer it's more about uh, other people, other river users, something that's out of your control. Uh, for instance, you know, someone's on a stag do, they've got a speedboat bombing down the river, you know, they run you over. You're unconscious and you're in the water, it doesn't matter how good a swimmer you are, if you're unconscious, you're, you, you're gonna drown. You know, I've heard stories of people in accidents where they've got knocked out with their own paddle, or, you know, tree branches have fallen on people, knocked them out, so, it really, it's nothing to do with your ability. Your ability is only worth anything if you are conscious. Another reason I personally always wear mine and never take it off uh, is that I do a lot of paddling solo. So I think when you are, when you are out on your own, you need to take you know, even more care and caution and you, know, you need to be like over cautious basically because you know, this is a dangerous activity and if you're relying on self-rescue, you know, you might be in the water a lot longer than if you were with someone else helping you out. And, you know, hypothermia can set in and tie you out a lot quicker than people realize. So the PFD is gonna, you know, keep you afloat. You know, you're not gonna be expending any energy treading water and getting colder and colder and losing energy. There is another reason uh, which has absolutely nothing to do with safety that I wear my PFD and that is the pockets and my hydration. It's just purely practical. So uh, I've, got, I've got everything in, in my front pockets here that I need. I don't, I don't carry anything in my trouser pockets at all. I've made that mistake uh, in the past. You, you don't want to be, if you need something, you want to be fumbling, leaning over, making your boat unstable, you know, because you've got to try to fish something out of your trouser pocket. You could literally capsize doing that. And also I've found just the way you get in and out of a kayak, it's very easy to drop something uh, that's in your trouser pocket into the river. I've learned that lesson the hard way, so you don't have to basically. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I keep, uh, I've got my phone here in a waterproof pouch, lashed. Everything gets lashed permanently to the PFD. There's no point just sticking it in there because if you capsize, then yeah, it'll just float away, sink to the bottom, whatever. So um, it's just, yeah, what, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I've got in here actually. I've got my um, British canoeing membership, uh, which gives me a permit to access pretty much most inland waterways in the UK. I made another video about that. Uh, 
something else you should always have on you at all times, a um, rescue knife in case you get caught in fishing wire or weeds or something like that. In terms of whether this knife is UK legal, by the way, I might do a, another video about these if you want, uh, but in terms of it being UK legal, you know, it is literally for the purpose of rescuing me if I fall in. Uh, I think the blue light services would much rather that I carry this on me while I'm paddling than leave it at home because I'm concerned about, you know, the confusing UK knife law. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously I wouldn't stick it in my pocket and take it into a nightclub or anything like that. Some YouTuber stuff here as well. I've got like a, a action camera to get some cool uh, shots for my hat, you know. I've got a spare battery for this camera here as well on me. Ah, uh, the irony, the fucking irony of that is quite funny, isn't it? The absolute irony, literally, as I t mentioned my battery, the battery I had in there ran out. Like, the absolute timing is just mad, right? Well, so there's the one that just, just came out of the camera. I'm now going to put this in my front pouch. See, I don't want to be sticking that in my side pocket. And as I mentioned, I've got the uh, hydration bladder in the bag. I've got two litres, which is absolutely loads. And it's convenient. Drinking straw. You know, I can keep hold of my paddle at all times. I haven't got like a water bottle rolling around and you know, it's great if I've got the uh, skirt on as well. Don't want to be reaching around all the time. You know, it's just so convenient. And when I um, get out of the boat as well and I'm on the bank, if I'm portaging or something, you know, still got it with me. It's just um, nice and easy, isn't it? This particular PFD, by the way, um, is one that I bought from Decathlon years ago. Uh, it, instantly became like my main PFD and has been ever since. I've done so many miles in this. Uh, I just find it quite comfortable. It's really practical with the hydration and the pockets and everything. Um, good buoyancy. Uh, I, yeah, I can't fault it really. It's getting a bit old and tatty now, but it's still going strong. You know, I don't, don't see myself replacing it anytime soon. Um, the only uh, thing I might get um, is I might get like uh, one of those more military type like olive green more discreet ones for times where you know I, I don't want to be seen so doing close-up wildlife photography trying to get those kingfishers uh, I've had no luck yet um, yeah and wild camping as well sometimes where I need to be really discreet so yeah I'd like to have the options of going bright mm, or more stealth <laughs> there's just one last thing maybe it's a bit of a morbid thing <laughs> to uh to mention An another reason why the blue light services want everybody to always wear pfds is if unfortunately the worst did happen uh, it does make it easier to recover you and that puts uh, other people who are performing a rescue at less risk so something to consider if nothing else has convinced you so just to summarize, this is why I personally always wear a PFD at all times when I'm on the water. A little bit of extra caution because I'm solo, a uh, bit more practical with the, uh, you know, the pockets and the hydration. And uh, I've got one that I found that's, that's comfortable, it fits well. I spent hours and hours and hours uh, without taking this off and it really doesn't bother me. So. Do what you want, but you know, this is what I do. And uh, I, I, I want you guys to be safe on the water, right? So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, give us a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out some of my other videos as well. Uh, lots of cool paddling stuff. And uh, if you see me out on the water, then do say hi. Cheers.